Praise the Lord. I was contacted by a friend this morning, a, a soldier, a brother of mine. And he's TD, man, I need a message of hope. He said, man, I said, bro, oftentimes we have to get whipped and whooped and, 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 and corporal punished and, you know, and, and chastised and, you know, of God, our father. And, and, and the message of hope that I can give, I must first give you the cause and effect. I mean, all the hateful memes, all the racism, the fighting, the anti-socialism, the name calling, the back and forth, blaming the Democrats, blaming the Republicans, blaming Trump, blaming Obama, blaming Ford, blaming Carter, blaming Reagan, uh, bl blaming uh, the, the, this brother, that brother, this person with more money, that person with money. God has given mankind a timeout. I know he is sick and tired of us because earth is God's TV. And I can ask the question, what channel is your life on? But think about it. All this hate, war, uh, infighting, faction division, uh, racism, division, uh, anti-socialism, name calling, back and forth on social media, attacking one another because of their belief, their faith, their trust in God, how they voted. God, our Father, he's sick and tired of mankind. He's given mankind a timeout. And now all of us have to be still and know that he is God, brother. And that, and, and that it, this virus doesn't kill hope. This virus ought to give us a perspective. Enough is enough. All the foolishness, the name calling, the uh, the hate, the racism, the bigotry, it's just unreal. And, and and then you got people who follow this mess clicking like on atrocious posts, clicking like on borderline racism, clicking like on fight videos, clicking like on hate, clicking like on division. Uh, you, you, you satisfied now? Some of y'all get up every morning and you're nothing more than carriers of hate. You're nothing more than a, a, a progressive movement of destroying mankind. And every morning you get up, you go straight to social media to continue your hate. You know, and, and people that follow you, it, it's not a cult. Uh, uh, Heaven's Gate, Ghana called Tragedies, uh, Charles Manson. A lot of people got out, Branch Davidians, a lot of people got out of, get out of cults. It's not a cult. It's, it's self-inflicted stupidity to hold on to somebody because of their hate and their rhetoric. Oh, yeah, that's right. You tell them. And you and I feel bad for your husband, your wife, your children to follow, to be led by someone who's so filled up the vision, hate, racism, caption by the caption, memes and hateful memes and photoshopped and making fun of people's religion and, and, and prayers and faith. And I had a guy tell me that that God was a Middle Eastern fairy tale came to, came straight, sent me a friend request. So the only hope I can give is that I hope we learn from being shuttered and shut in and locked down. You ought to be happy now. You got what you wanted. You got your division. You got your segregation. <laughs> but there's still hope. I just pray we learn from this. I pray mankind makes a comeback. God, our Father, allows U-turns and he allows comebacks. I'm a you. This you is turning back to God. I thank God for blessing me to turn back a long time ago. But a lot of y'all you haven't turned back. You haven't you turned. What are you turning into? You got the nerve to talk about hope. Look what we have done to ourselves. This coronavirus is nothing more than hate. Absolute breathings of hate in the atmosphere. We've done it to ourselves. I just pray that we can make a comeback as a race. No, as a human being, as mankind. Peace. One.